Hello, my friend. I'm here to talk to you about a prison called fear. This is Kambiz Nafisi, spiritual guide and meditation teacher. The biggest, most high security prison in the world is called fear. It's right here. We constructed it ourselves. Way back, something hurt you. You became oversensitive to something. You started protecting some vulnerability. It could have been romantic breakup, illness, uh, death of a uh, parent, let's say low self-confidence, whatever. You started protecting that hurt because it just hurt too much. And around that protection, fear started rising. And for as long as we protect our vulnerabilities, for as long as we do not face what hurt us in the past, then this prison of fear is just going to keep us in more and more darkness. The way through it is to face what hurt you in the past. Whatever reduced your self-confidence, self-worth, whatever gave you shame, whatever you thought was a failure in school, in sports, in romance, we don't know. There is something that you're protecting deep inside because it just hurts too much and you're not willing to be vulnerable and soften up around it. What happens when we protect that old hurt is that we encourage, we nourish fear. And you know what happens? When we start protecting an old hurt, then it almost seems like the world around us, all the people in our city are out there to attack us. Imagine a young woman who had an unstable relationship with her dad, so she just doesn't trust men. Now she's got a fiance or a boyfriend, and she's extremely, extremely jealous when he's late in calling her. So then this jealousy is something that's out of control and is hidden way in her subconscious mind. She's not really relating it to her bad relationship with dad. Any case, you take this one young woman who's got this out of control jealousy. What happens because she's not facing this hurt, this oversensitivity called jealousy, she really thinks that all the women in town are a threat because all those women might potentially steal her boyfriend or fiance. This is what happens. When we don't soften up around one of our, our old hurts or vulnerabilities, we become so sensitized that we start to feel like the world is our enemy. It's like me versus them. Now here's the magic. If you simply start to soften up around who you really are, soften up around your vulnerability, breathe, soften up around your fear. Understand that you are and have always been your core essence. As you breathe through it, as you witness the fearful mind instead of engaging with it, you will start to flow back to your spontaneous self. God bless. Godspeed.